I never thought that I was actually going to be able to talk about Hunt Showdown on this channel again since I've done my video a long time ago, damn near almost a year and a half ago, hell maybe even two years ago, but as we all know, if I'm going to make content based off Hunt Showdown, you bet you're damn right that I'm going to be putting in some Hunt Showdown gameplay at least involved. And I got a lot to talk about with Hunt Showdown, especially on the fact that I just refuse to stream this game anymore for many oblivious reasons, but I'm going to talk about that all at once in this video. So if I haven't said it before, hello everybody, this is the Epic Game grew and this time we're going to be discussing a lot about Hunt Showdown. This video has a lot to do with how Serpent Moon came out and how it's functioning within Hunt Showdown. To be 100% honest, Serpent's Moon is not a bad event, but when I found out how much the longevity of this event is compared to how much they're asking for and the points to be required to finish the event is absolutely ludicrous. They doubled the duration of this event by 60 days, but it also meant that they doubled the point requirement to finish the event. It took me almost damn near 31 to 32 days just to be able to reach level 18 if not all the way up to level 19 but let that sink in this event was in the duration of 60 days going up to 32 days and i barely just about to end the whole event that is an entire freaking month event just for Hunt Showdown, which is absolutely freaking nuts. Now, I do know that there are some probably some streamers out there or some people who are insanely good at the game that managed to get the event done within under 20 days, which is pretty goddamn nuts and all power to you if you manage to do that. That is pretty goddamn impressive. But that's not the only thing this video is about. I'm also here to discuss about the major bug problems that this game always seems to run into every time a huge major event seems to happen. It's almost as if Crytek doesn't seem to understand that every time they pull out a very good event or at least an event that's beyond long in longevity for how long this event is like this is probably the craziest longest event i've ever seen in hunt showdown but it's also one of the most bug riddled freaking events i've ever seen in the game not even the christmas event was as buggy as this and that is saying something. I know it's no secret that Hunt Showdown is very buggy and it does need to be patched up with a lot of problems but I have to be honest I've seen some of the craziest most messed up bugs during this event and it could be a lot of server related issues which I'm surprised were not resolved sooner. Update 1.9.1 was supposed to be one of the main issues that were resolving around desyncing problems which caused a lot of players to be missing a lot of shots past each other for no reason. This also had a lot to do with pinging issues issues that cause players to shoot past one another, which is a big issue that Hunt Showdown had back in the day, but now the game is littered with even more bugs from patches that don't seem to make any sense whatsoever. These bugs have gotten so bad and they're so groundbreaking that I can't even redo my review for Hunt Showdown because of these bugs being problem in the game. Not only are these bugs so orientatingly bad, but they are so many different ones. I've had seen ones where people could not even reload their guns properly, there's been infinite reload loop problems, the game has having severe packet loss issues and then to make things even more worse there have been even moments in my own stream of just absolutely maddening bugs that I've never seen before in my entire life if you don't believe me guys go ahead and look at this clip this actually happened in my live stream I still don't even know how to explain it oh crap that's another team yeah. wait why is your body moving towards me I don't know I would, I would hide, I would hide. Yep, he's still over there. I have to hide, hold on. Why is your body moving away? <laughs> Betty, what the fuck is wrong with your body, Betty? I'm trying to get it to cover. Hey, stop getting Follow away from me, Benny! Follow me, I know the way. The fuck is going on? Are you see? Uh, is this is this actually gonna work? No way. That. We gotta go, we gotta go, come on, let's go to Slaughterhouse. Okay, no, it's fine. 
Crytek, I swear to God, I did not modify my game. I did not use hacks. I did not open command prompt. I did not do anything into this game's code or anything. I don't even know how to access the files to this game to be able to do stuff like that. And even so, that wasn't even my character doing any of that. So no, I was not modifying, doing any cheats, nothing in the game. That was straight up a bug from Hunt Showdown. And it's probably one of the most concerning ones I've seen because that seemed to have been done with some sort of glitch or some sort of exploit. I know that I sound a little bit worried about that clip like as though I'm the one responsible for everything but my partner wasn't responsible either. That clip was just straight up a huge bug in the game and I know about the ladder glitch which also got a lot of YouTubers and streamers in trouble for using it and using that exploit to make themselves pretty much invisible through a wall and having their shots go through any type of material in the game. The ladder glitch was so bad and prominent that a lot of users started using it to be able to have fights won all the time in Hunt Showdown which is why they ended up doing a mass report ban when it comes to players using using the glitch itself, or in this case, mainly an exploit. But either way, it's just something that Hunt Showdown always seems to have after a patch is done. I do tend to still love this game. I actually do still love Hunt Showdown. I want you all to never misunderstand me when it comes to these kind of things. Just because a game is glitchy or bugged does not mean that I don't still enjoy it. I do remember the good remnants of Hunt Showdown when it does function well in its very good playable state because this is still one of the most unique FPS shooters I've ever played. Only only problem is I'm not going to be able to stream it anymore or play with it anymore because of the fact that the bugs and glitches are so prominent and with the service issues just adding to it I really don't see myself enjoying this game on stream as I used to but until I see this game back in its very good playable state once again I am not going to be touching this title anymore either way guys leave a comment below if you want to have a discussion about this I know that a lot of you have probably run into the most insane bugs and glitches probably even worse than I have but I would really love to know what you guys thought Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a subscribe if you loved it that much. Either way, this has been the Epic Game Guru, and I'll see you all next time.